Welcome to the Two Minute Treasurer's Tip Podcast. I'm your host, Cindy Michael with MoneyMinder, and today we are talking bylaws. So Jim writes, our bylaws prohibit our group from having a credit card or a debit card. A lot of our vendors require online payment by card. Do you have any suggestions? Well, Jim, so bylaws do serve a purpose, which is basically to keep your group on the straight and narrow. So they can over time, however, be outdated. So let me start by addressing this point first. Bylaws are meant to be updated and to evolve with your group. So you might consider updating your bylaws to allow for the use of those credit or debit cards, but maybe put in place um, strict controls, things like low, low, really low credit limits. (laughs) If that's not an option, here are a few suggestions. One, you can check to see if the vendor you're paying accepts e-checks. This will still allow you to enter your account and routing information in lieu of mailing a check and providing credit card information. So that's one option. Um, Another option is to have a board member use their personal credit card for these types of payments and then reimburse them. I'm sure that's probably what you already do quite a lot. Um, If you do this, just make sure to keep good records of repayment. Um, And I would caution you against doing this with recurring payments or automatically renewing subscriptions. You don't want to be responsible for payments or subscriptions in the future that don't get canceled and that your group no longer has a need for. So those are my suggestions. I hope that that helped answer some questions and give you some ideas on how to move forward. If you have a question, email it to me at info at moneyminder.com. My name is Cindy Michael. And this is your two-minute treasurer's tip for today.